Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with second part of top 10 websites and extensions for students and creatives. Link for the first part of the video is up there. Feel free to check it out. But before we start, let me dig into the snack that I just got and it was just so heavily amazing. We all have been working or studying from home for more than a year now and well, it's nice to work from home for some, but we cannot really focus on work without the right kind of environment. Sounds of Colleagues is a perfect website to feel like you're at office while working from home. It's a website having sounds of office, telephone sounds, coffee machine sounds, people, printer, rain. You can play them all simultaneously and control volume of every sound individually. And it's totally free to use. And this is how what it sounds like. Imagine a platform where you can sign in in your social media or work accounts in just one tap. And you just have to remember one password. Identity is a platform where you can sign up for free and save passwords for up to 10 platforms. And every time you log in in your identity account with your master password, you just have to tap once and you will be logged in. To save your account information, you just have to click on the add icon and then you can create a tile. You will see that you will get various options to choose from that which kind of social media work or shopping platform you want to save the information of and the good thing about identity is that you can also assign it a category now you must be thinking that why identity my google account or keychain on apple can store the passwords as well well identity is better because you can also focus on the task ahead rather than letting your energy all around the place because on the top left corner of the screen you will see that you can choose the category you want to work on and then you won't be able to see the other tiles which don't belong to that category so if you want to choose to focus on the work you can just focus on the work without seeing other tiles as well one good thing about identity is that you can also create a to-do list regarding the certain projects you want to accomplish on particular websites so for example if i wanted to create canva projects regarding my upcoming youtube video or maybe something else then i can create a to-do list of it and then the to-do list will appear on the right hand corner of the screen and i won't need to go anywhere else or use any other app for accessing my to-do list. Also, if you want to create more than 10 tiles on identity, then you gotta purchase the premium version of it. The details are going to be in the description box below. So even though we all live in a big, big world, it's really hard to connect with people with same interests as yours. So Discord is the right place for that. Here you can join servers which align with your interests and hobbies. For example, I'm a part of study community, a book community, and a writer's community. So for example, I am a part of study community and I have just opened it and here you can see different different rooms and these rooms are divided into study topics, study challenges, accountability and stuff. So in study topics, you will find productivity tips and you will find the ways to make study experience better for which they have named study apps and then we have desk setups for studying and then we have note taking in which we talk about all the organized ways in which note taking can be done and then we have a section which is divided into the category of stream you are studying in which is called academic halls and then we also have a group in which we talk about the mental health of people who are involved in studying because that is also important and one interesting thing about being a part of discord servers which align with your interests is that you feel like that you belong to a certain group or a certain uh, category of people who have same interests as yours and there are also activities which make you feel like that for example here we have a group in which we wish the person who has a birthday on a particular day and all of the people in the discord server whoever can uh, wish that person and it feels like you know that you're a part of a class or a group which is a really nice feeling.
So before this pandemic started, some of us had the habit of going to our favorite cafes and study or work there. But this is not just possible anymore. And even if it is, it's not just as safe as it used to be. So I Miss My Cafe is a free website where you can just go on it and you can play all the cafe sounds and you can adjust them individually, you know, the volume of it, whatever you're satisfied with, you can just stay on that level of volume and just play it. And even if you want to skip one or two sounds, you can just let them stay at the pause and they will not play. So I think that this website is awesome. You can just get your work on your desk and get a cup of coffee at the home or order online. And then you can just let these sounds play in the background and you can have a feeling that you are sitting at a favorite cafe. They also have a Spotify playlist uh, of the songs which are somewhat related to the cafe feeling. But I would just don't play it if you don't have a Spotify premium because the ads would mess up your experience. This website is free but you can just donate them a cup of coffee that would be really really nice as they are providing everything to us in just free and this is how the sounds of the website sounds yeah. like you got an earl gray with honey Okay, so this is not a website but an app for desktop and this is the only thing in my entire list which is paid but but hold on. This is something you might love to have and if you cannot really have it right now, you can just always put it in your imaginary wish list. Have you ever wanted to own a typewriter and listen to the pressing of each and every key while the faint sounds of river or an old London train play with your ears in the background? Omrider is a typing application which gives you exactly that feeling and this is from where you choose that what size of font do you want and this is from where you choose the background and this is where you choose that what kind of music do you want to play. I'm playing the reverse sounds right now and this is from where we will choose that how our keyboard is going to sound. So this is how the sound number two sounds like. This is from where you save your document and the next option is from where you export your document as PDF or you made it somewhere. Let's move on and listen to how the London train sounds in the background and this is what it sounds like. Also, I would like to tell you guys that this is not important that you're always playing a music in the background. You have the option to mute it and you can just go along with the sound of keyboard sounds. And also the app comes with a lot of keyboard and a lot of background sounds, but I cannot really just play each one of them in this video. But I just wanted to show you guys a demo of how the app works and to show you and to help you decide that if it's really worth purchasing for you guys or not. Also, the app comes at a price of 8.49 US dollars for lifetime purchase. So moving on to the extensions, our first extension is called Google Dictionary. Suppose you're working on a project or basically reading on a blog or a website and you come across a word you haven't heard about before. So instead of going on a different website, you double click on that word and you will see that a yellow dialogue will open and you will be able to read the meaning of that word there. And if you're not satisfied with that, you can click on more and then you will come across a detailed meaning of that word along with synonyms and other definitions and sentences to know how to use that word exactly. So this one is more of a cute Chrome extension which will make your day a little bit more nice and every time you try to open a new Chrome tab, a cute pet in an animated form would appear there and make you smile just a little bit. So if you are working on any stressful project or assignment, I think this would really lighten up your mood and I really really love this. So once you install or open this extension, you go on the top left corner of that and you click on this home icon and there you can see the kind of pet you would want to appear every time you open a new tab. 
so for example if you choose a bunny or a rabbit you can just see that how every time you open a new tab an adorable animation of it just appears and i think it really looks nice and i wouldn't just trade it for any other chrome extension at least for right now because it does really makes me smile every time i am working on any of my projects so we all have heard about Grammarly and it's amazing, but there is also something else out there which can dramatically improve the quality of your projects, assignments and presentations. Also this extension works with Google Documents as well, which Grammarly doesn't as of now. So you start creating a document and write something like, hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am so excited to share top 10 extensions and websites for study and work. Now what you do is you select the sentence, click on the word tune icon and you will start seeing suggestions on how to frame this sentence in a more correct and more I would say attractive manner. Now hey guys could be changed to these sentences so I change it to hey every, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel could be changed to I am back with another video and this whole sentence could be changed to these three or the other suggestions that I have gotten along with this extension and let's see that which one works the best and I go with this one. So now it looks like hello everyone I'm back with another video. I'm so excited to share with you guys the top 10 extensions and websites that will help you with your work and studies. Now this sentence actually looks much more attractive and much more nice and this is how Wordtune helps you to just make your assignments much more attractive and nice when someone reads them and it also comes along with a premium version but this feature is absolutely free you don't have to pay anything for it the premium version has this uh, feature where you can shorten and expand your sentences and you can give a casual or some professional tone to it if you want to So suppose you are researching regarding your next blog post or project and there is an article you come across that can be really really helpful. So you just click on the Notion Web Clipper icon and while staying on the page you want to save and choose a page you want to save it to. For example, I have created a page on my Notion which is called My Links. So every time I want to save page link I just choose that page to save it to and then I open that page on my notion I will see that the article is right there and now I can read that article without any kind of hassle to view the ads alongside with it and I can also view the images that were on that article and if I want to find the origin or resource of that page or article I can see that the URL of that page is right there. Our next Chrome extension is called Pomodoro Assistant. But first let me tell you what is Pomodoro before we actually get into what this extension does. Pomodoro technique is a time management method which uses a timer to break down work into intervals. Traditionally in the first lap, the work timer is 25 minutes long after which you take 5 minutes break. You repeat that 3 or 4 times, whatever suits you. Then you get a longer break of 15 minutes after that. One session of 25 minute work and 5 minute break is called one Pomodoro. So I had heard about this technique before and I wanted to try it with this extension called Marinara Pomodoro Assistant. In the settings section of this Pomodoro Assistant Chrome extension, you will get to set all the timers, durations and the sounds that will play when timer ends. You can also choose to play a nice sound to focus while Pomodoro clock is running but that's totally up to you. I choose not to play as I prefer listening to lo-fi music while working. And then you have the option to choose which sound to play when the Pomodoro clock ends of 25 minutes. I like this toaster oven sound and this is what this sounds like. So this is what I like for now and that's what I have chosen and then you can decide that for how long you want your short break to last. I have chosen it to 5 minutes, I can change it to just 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 minutes, whatever I like. And then I have chosen a ding sound for short break ending and then I have the long break option that do I want it every third break or do I want it every fourth break? If the task is very tiring, I choose for the long break to come every third break. And if it is not very tiring, then I'm okay with it coming every fourth break. 
and to start the Pomodoro timer you just have to click on the Pomodoro extension icon and the clock will start running and if just in case they want to run somewhere in between because you got a small task or something you can stop the timer or clock in between and when you come back you can restart it back again from that point only and you can also restart the whole Pomodoro cycle if you want to that is entirely possible so guys i hope you liked today's video and write down your favorite extension and website in the comments below and i will see you guys in my next video bye